On a project I was working on recently, there was a need to deliver the program output using SRT. And the issue with that was we were using an ATA Mini as the switcher. This can stream out using RTMP, but it certainly can't do SRT. It got me wondering, is there a way to use one of these, a little Raspberry Pi, to take the output of the uh, ATEM, the streaming encoder output, and then convert it somehow to SRT? And the answer is yes. And the great news is you can do this without any kind of re-encoding. But before we get into the tutorial, let's get the infomercial part out of the way. We also make Central Control, which if you didn't know, it is the Sistine Chapel of show control applications. You can use it to control your ATEM using all sorts of hardware, such as a new tech controller like I'm actually doing today to control the monitor behind me, a stream deck, a MIDI controller, X keys, OSC, all sorts of stuff. It's available, there's a free 30 day trial, but if you email, I want an extra 30 days at centralcontrol.io, I will send you a key to extend it for another 30 days. Please buy it because then I will be able to afford a haircut when the hairdressers reopen this Monday in the UK. So if we come over to the Raspberry Pi, I am going to install Nimble Streamer. And thankfully for us, they've got a great guide on how you actually do that. So let's select Raspbian slash ARM. And the first thing we need to do is edit our sources list. So if you copy this path, and we'll do sudo, what's it called, mousepad, I think it's the text editor. I know like someone will be freaking out that I'm not using nano or something. <laughs> Anyway, we will add this, copy, paste, and hit save, and that's great. Then we, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Then we need to add their public key. And this actually won't execute unless we do a little change here. We need to add, yeah, that's it. So let's open, let's do it in here. If we add sudo before apt get, it will run and paste. Uh, okay, cool. Then we need to do add sudo app to get update. Okay, great. Then we'll do sudo app get install nimble. Yep. And we wait. Great, okay, that is done. So now Nimble should be running. So before you can actually control Nimble, you're gonna need to register for WMS panel, which is their web-based UI for controlling it. And the good news is, is you can get a free 30, no, 14 day trial. So if you just, if we search WMS panel, and all you need to do is come here and click sign up for a free trial and then go through that. Once you've done that, we can come back here and we'll do this. Again, you need sudo, otherwise it won't find it. And now my Nimble is registered to my account, so I'm just gonna type sudo reboot, just reboot the whole thing. I could just restart Nimble, but. So before we go any further, I actually make a really stupid mistake here. Before you restart the Pi, you want to install the Nimble SRT library. So to do that, all you need to do is open a terminal window and we'll do sudo apt get install nimble-srt and that will install. I already have it because I figured out the mistake. But yeah, do that. Okay, so my Pi has just come back up, and if I come over to WMS panel and click servers, there is my Raspberry Pi. Now what? Well, we need to set up a live stream. So we need to go to create live stream. And yep, that looks good. Then applications, I need to set up an application. We'll just call this SRT. 
Yes, apply, you can keep all of this, it doesn't really matter. Great, and now we need to go over to interfaces and add an interface. I'm gonna add RTMP, that will do for IP address, and port 1935 will work nicely. And now that this is finished setting up, we actually need to set up the ATEM to stream to it. So we've actually got some data coming into Tesla. Web. The first thing I actually want to do is close the software because we need to do a little edit to some config files because by default, we're not gonna be able to see our nimble streamer in the platform list here. So we'll close this and you need to edit this file. I will leave the path on Mac and Windows in the video description. But all we'll do to make our life easy is we'll just copy and paste the first uh, profile, which is Facebook. So just copy and paste this bit. There we go. And all we need to do is change this guy here. And we want to replace it with, hold on, if you click the little question mark here, we can just do, we'll just say SRT live. Copy and paste. And then replace this. Nimble. You can change this if you want. I'm just gonna leave it the same for now. So it's great. And then we need to open the 8M software again. If we go to streaming should see nimble and I would set this as default. The key I'm gonna use is just live as we did before and I'm gonna click on air. So just to verify that the ATEM is actually sending data to the Pi, I just need to come to Raspberry Pi here and I can see that, yep, I'm receiving the stream around the bit rate I'd expect to and that is working. And in a WMS panel, I should now be able to add the SRT output. Yep. Set this to listen. Just call this SRT. The application is going to be SRT live slash live. Yep. That is correct. I'll set the local port to be 9501. Click save. Oh, yeah, so you do, even if you're on listen, you have to set an IP address for it to bind to. You can just do 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0, and it will just about listen on, on all of its uh, interfaces. Click save. So this should be working now. If I come over to vMix, I should be able to add the SRT feed. So if I do caller, and we'll use the IP address of our Pi, 2.33. Port was 9501. Click OK. VMix is picking up the feed. And if I let me just turn this camera on, just give you an idea of the latency. Switch over to that's the Pi. Here we go. It's it's pretty low. So if I there's my hand. It's pretty good. It's that's that's usable. If you wanted to do this over the internet, all you would need to do is just open up that port, port 9501, and you'd be able to send this stream over the internet to a vMix, or even you could have streamer us on a Raspberry Pi on the other end and use that to receive the feed. The, the possibilities really are endless. You also, you don't need to pay for WMS panel once you've configured it. You should, because it's a really useful tool. I use it all the time, but you don't need to. Once this is set up, it will keep working with or without the WMS panel subscription. That'll do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I'll see you later.